So Aurelio, you come from a very famous winemaking family. What was it like to grow up around somebody who's considered by many the most important winemaker in Chile? You know, it's a big, big advantage to, to grow with someone that has a lot of passion, you know, in his life. And it's, a, I would say, the best school. Because winemaking, you can study whatever you want, but the passion, no one tells you how to, how to deal with that. And my father is the best example of being passionate about wine. And is, is there a little bit of pressure? Like people know who your father is and they, their expectations get higher? Or? At the beginning, yes. At the beginning, you know, people was like, oh, the, the son of Aurelio Monte or whatever. But uh, to be with you, at the end, people very fast understood that I'm a different person and I have my own style, my own um, you know, personality. So at the beginning, yes, but I never felt like you know, people like looking to me in a different way. It's a different winemaker. That, that is the way I feel. And in, in terms of when you were growing up, did you feel like there was an expectation that you would join the family business? You, you're one of five children, right? Exactly. You know, um, my father always dreamed, like me with my kids today, to, to have someone in the family to, to join the business. You know, uh, winemaking is, is not only an industry. Is, is a passion thing. So everyone dreamed that day by day, you know, someone's going to follow the steps and are going to keep all this tradition. Of course, my father tried, but very in a very simple and very st strategic way to involve me in the wine industry. My other siblings, they don't really got the passion. They love to drink wine. They drink as much as we drink wine. But um, they understood that to be a winemaker, you need to be very passionate and to spend your life. It's a lifestyle. So the only one that really got you know, this passion was me, and, and, and I love it. And still, still today, you know, I'm very passionate about what you do. I'm, I'm training my kids for the future, <laughs> hopefully. And how did you evolve into the role of a winemaker? You know, uh, well, I... I always have been involved with the, with the agriculture area because I love to be outside. I'm a country boy, you know. I, I love to, to be outside, riding horses, motorcycle, being outside. And uh, my father uh, moved me inside of this uh, industry uh, step by step. And I, I decided to study agriculture engineer in the university. And in the last two years, I decided to study winemaking. Uh, only to, because of this curiosity of what my father is really so passionate about wine. There's something special behind this. I need at least to learn. Uh, but to be honest with you, at that time in university, I used to drink very little amount of wine, almost nothing. I, I was most focused on sports and um, maybe a beer. And, and then when I study and I understood how the process and, and, and the world you know, the, how much passion and wine I eat around the world. I really start getting in love till I moved to Australia. I lived in Australia for one year. And I definitely got all the passion there. And then I work in Napa. You know, in Napa, to be honest with you, I have a lot of fun. Maybe not a lot of experience in the wine industry, <laughs> but a lot of fun in, the, in, in, in meeting people, party, and, and also learning about wine. So for me, that was the key of going inside you know, the wine industry. 